Hey everybody, I'm Dysel and this is Dysel's Garage. Hope everybody's having a super fantastic day today. So what are we doing today? Well, there's quite a few things I need to do. But one of the most important things I need to do is change the batteries in my diesel. Yes, I said diesel, not Dysel, diesel. So I have a 2000 or 99, I'm not sure which one it is, but it's a, uh, F-350 Lariat Edition, and it does have dual batteries, has a 7.3. And when you change batteries in trucks like these, you're supposed to change them in pairs. And the last time I did it, did I change both? No, didn't change both, just one, which probably ruined the other battery. You know, with the, uh, the, the diesel engines, they take a lot more torque to get them to start. That's why you have to have two batteries in the first place. So anyway, the batteries are, I don't know, seven, eight years old, or I should say the new battery is seven or eight years old. And the one before that, I have no idea because it was already in there when I got it. So anyway, I went online and I bought two yellow top Optima batteries. And yes, I did look to see if they were for this vehicle and they said it was. So we're gonna unbox those two Optima batteries. We're gonna take the old batteries out of the truck and we're gonna pop them in. That's the one back there. That's the truck back there we're gonna do this on. So anyway, you know, anybody can do this, of course, but maybe you don't know how to do it. So we're gonna do it today. This is the newer battery. Again, I didn't do the date thing, but it's an auto crap. Auto crap called 652, 850 amps, thousand cold cranking something, blah, blah, blah. And you can see I did my, did my wonderful job on my terminals there. This is also an auto crap. Um, I think this is the problematic battery right here. So let's see if I can get it started with these these batteries in there. One last time. So here are our new batteries. Now, 
Why did I go with Optima batteries? It's because this car, the 69 Mustang, I barely ever drive it. But anytime that I want to start it, that yellow top battery in there has started every time. I mean, I may have had to jump it off maybe once or twice over the last, I don't know, seven years. I mean, it's been in there quite a while. So I'm like, you know what? I've been having so many problems with the truck starting. Why not see if they make an Optima battery for the truck, for the diesel? So I won't have so many battery problems. So I, w I went to the uh, Optima website and I sourced these batteries and, uh, and I bought them from the internet. They shipped in and uh, yeah, I pre-cut the, uh, let's a little closer. Right. So I pre-cut these, so uh, you know, I see YouTubers doing these with uh, one hand. I already did it. Oh, I see yellow. Yellow and gold. Yeah, that's one of the, the pretty top things that I don't think anybody ever uses. This thing right here. There she is. That is supposed to fit in the diesel. So let me get both of these out. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna take these out. So what do I need to get these out? It looks like maybe a 7 sixteenths or something like that. So yeah, so let's get these batteries out and uh, put the yellow tops in. Okay, so this was handy. Not really. So this side is uh, 13 millimeter, and this side is a 12 millimeter. Again, I guess, yeah, I think I put these on aftermarket, and this one definitely is stock. This one's definitely stock. I think that's aftermarket too, but that one for some reason 13 millimeter too. So let's get these off and pulled out. That's cool. Forgot about that. That's gotta come up. The holder down. Always use the right tool for the job. Not. Okay, now you know I'm getting serious when I get the yellow tools out. Three hours later. I want to put some uh, lubrication on them. Huh? Okay, well, I learned something new today. So in order to adapt this yellow top battery to a group 65, which is typical with Fords, you have to use these blue adapters. You have to snap those on to the bottom of the battery to make them fit the hole. So yeah, I didn't know that. I was wondering like, what are all those extra parts that come with the batteries? Why do you have to waste your money? Apparently it's not.
now. That sucker's going, going nowhere. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's get our doing my clock cheese. Let's just leave this one alone and move on. is averted magnetic picker upper to the rescue anyway I didn't find what I need but I found these awesome cutters that I had bought they're Doyle Good quality and a uh, 7 sixteenths bonus. So again, guys, thanks for watching the channel. Um, I hope somebody learned something from this. I know I did. I didn't know about the blue hold downs for type 65 batteries. So that's kind of why I document these things because maybe there's something, maybe it'll make somebody's life a little bit easier putting batteries in now. I mean, um, if I was gonna do this again, maybe I would go look it up. I thought I knew what I was doing, but clearly I didn't. But again, hopefully this will fix the uh, the starting problem. I won't have to carry the battery pack around with me everywhere I go, worrying that it's not going to start up. Um, I'm probably going to use the old batteries for uh, trailer winches and whatnot, so, or I'll uh, take them to the parts store and get a credit or battery store. I don't know. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. You know, you guys really have come through um, the last two months because I'm trying to get monetized. I'm trying to get a thousand and then there's another surprise before the end of the year so we're going to get that one up too so again thank you guys so much and we'll see you guys on the next one mm -hmm.